Welcome to Lesson 2-7, Graphing Inequalities in Two Variables. Today's objective will be to graph inequalities in the coordinate plane. Let's review the three ways that we've learned how to graph. First would be the x, finding the x and the y intercept. This is best if the x and the y are on the same side of the equal sign. Most often, these types of problems are going to be in standard form. Another way to graph would be using the y-intercept and the slope. This is best if the equation is in the slope-intercept form where the y is by itself. This is because you can easily identify the slope, which is represented by this letter m, and you can easily identify the y-intercept, which is represented by the letter b. Finally, if you can't or don't like the other methods of graphing, you could create a table of x and y values. So we see our equation, our, our inequality here. Um, the y and the x are on the same side of the inequality, so we're going to first find the x-intercept. And to find the x-intercept, we substitute 0 in for y. That makes this y term go away, leaving us negative 2x is equal to 6, dividing each side of this by 2, or negative 2, and that gives us x is equal to negative 3. And so that gives us the point negative 3 comma 0, so we can go ahead and plot that. x is negative 3, y is 0. Then we go and find the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, we choose x to be equal to 0, which will make this x term go away, leaving us with 3y is equal to 6. We divide each side of this by 3, giving us y is equal to 2, or the ordered pair x is 0, y is 2. We plot that point, x is 0, y is 2. Then we need to go ahead and drop in our line. Instead of using a solid line, we're going to use a dashed line because there is no equal sign in the inequality that we're going to be using today. And so I will go ahead and get a line in here. Again, it's a dashed line. That means that points on this line are not a part of the solution. And there's the start of our graph. Now we need to decide which side we're going to shade. We do that by choosing a point on either side of the line and finding out if it is a solution or not or if it makes the inequality true. If your line doesn't go through the point 0, 0 then I suggest you use that point there. You take the x is 0, y is 0, substitute that into the original inequality. 3 times 0 minus 2 times 0 greater than 6 and determine if the resulting statement is true or false. 3 times 0 minus 2 times 0 gives us 0, and 0 greater than 6 is a false statement. Since this point here, 0, 0, makes the original inequality true, we conclude that every point on this side of the graph will also, or I'm sorry, makes it false. So every other point on this side of the graph makes it false. So the solutions fall above the line. So we will take the time to shade the portion of the graph or the half plane above the line. And If you're shading with a pencil you just need to get it recognizable so that anybody that would look at your solution would understand that this is your solution. We look at this particular equation even though it's already with the x and the y on the same side we can easily change this by subtracting 2x from both sides. And when we do that, that gives us y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 3. From here, we can identify the slope m as negative 2 and the y-intercept as 3. Using that information, we graph the y-intercept up 3. And since the slope is a negative 2, we could write that as the fraction negative 2 over 1, which means from our y-intercept to graph additional points, we would go down 2 units and to the right 1, down 2 units and to the right 1, down 2 units and to the right 1. 
I think we have plenty of points there. So now we're going to draw in our line. Since we have a less than or equal to symbol, we're going to use a solid line. Let's hope this line's not too big. And it's not, it's the perfect size line. So now we have our line drawn in. We need to determine which side of the line to shade. This line does not go through the point zero, zero, so we'll choose that point, see if it makes the original inequality true. Zero plus two times zero is supposed to be less than or equal to three. This left side does evaluate to zero, which is less than or equal to three, so the point zero, zero is a solution because it makes the original inequality true. Therefore, we are going to shade the side of the half plane on the side of the point zero, zero. In example C, we have y is less than or equal to negative 3 halves x plus 4. This is already in the slope intercept form, so we can easily identify the slope as negative 3 halves and the y intercept as positive 4. As we did in the previous example, we're going to go up 4, graph the y intercept, and we're going to use the slope negative 3 over 2 to graph additional points. That means we're going to go down 3 to the right 2 to graph another point. And from that point, we go down 3 to the right 2. And let's graph one more. And we can see that we're going to have a line sloping downward. And it's going to be a dashed line. And I'm going to have to fix this because this is a solid line at this point. But we can change that. And there we can see our line dashed because it is no equal sign to it. Now we do the work to figure out the shading. You could choose any point. I think 0, 0 is the easiest to work with. So the point 0, 0, we substitute that into the original equality. 0 is supposed to be less than negative 3 halves times 0 plus 4. 0 remains on the left hand side and the right hand side. Negative 3 halves times 0 is 0 and 0 plus 4 is 4. 0 is less than 4 so the statement is true. Therefore 0, 0 is a solution and any point on this side of the line will also be a solution. The reason we make a dashed line is because the points on the line are not a solution. And that's how we can indicate that the points on the line are not a solution by making it dashed, much like the open circle when we were graphing inequalities with one variable. A couple things I'd like to mention. If you have y-only equations, those produce horizontal lines at the y value. So in this case here, we have y is greater than or equal to 5, so we identify where 5 is on the y-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Drop a point in there and then we would draw a line. It's a horizontal line. And then we need to figure out which side to shade. Do I shade above or below? We could use the 0, 0 thing that we did before or we could just reason out that y being greater than or equal to 5 would have to be above the line. Any values on or above that line would give us y would give us a true statement that y is greater than or equal to 5. Here we can see we have x is less than or equal to negative 2. x only equations produce vertical lines which have an undefined slope. So we identify where x is equal to negative 2 and that would be 2 to the left. Plot a little point, come on over get our line. It's going to be a solid line again because it's an equal sign there. And we will shade to the left because all values to the left of negative 2 are less than negative 2. So that's why we're going to shade on this side. 
couple of key things to remember when you are graphing inequalities. Um, how to graph the actual line is important, the three methods, x and the y-intercepts, the slope and the y-intercepts, or a, a table of xy values. And the other important thing is remembering what kind of line you need to use. You use a solid line if there's an equal sign, and you'll use a dashed line if there is no equal sign. Here's your homework for tonight. I hope you enjoyed today's video review.